Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Pisces. So let's get straight into your reading. I've pre-shuffled the cards so I'll shuffle a little bit more and I'm going to choose the first one. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. And remember these are, these can be just messages. These can be just messages Pisces. Message for Pisces, please, angels, spirits, guides. Okay. So we have change tracks. It can be change your approach, change direction. Some of you might be considering bringing some kind of change into your life. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message from spirit, please? May 2021, thank you. Message for Pisces, thank you. Thank you. So Pisces, we have find your center. Your outside world is a reflection and manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Find your center. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, May 2021. Card has turned over. So I have number 30, Sacred Divinity. There are two paths ahead. And obviously I'm getting that with change tracks here. Message for Pisces, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, thank you. Your cards are turning over so quickly. So we have Dove, which is a divine symbol. Um, Spread messages of peace and harmony. Archangel Bokpi. Uh, it could be a message that bring pe brings peace and harmony. Pisces. Um, yeah, could be a something is restoring peace and harmony. So it feels very lovely. I'm going to pull three cards. Starting with the message from Spirit. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. And it will be for May 2021. Message for Pisces, please. May 2021, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So, okay. Three of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. The Moon. Moon is Pisces, by the way. Eight of Wands, we have the Five of Cups, <laughs> so Pisces, uh, I mean, you know, in, in term, it feels to do with money, career, finances. This month, you are being told you have the opportunity to manifest wealth, material success. It definitely feels it's coming your way. Now, the Three of Pentacles, this can be about collaborations and um, business partnerships. It can also be to do with, you know, the beginnings of manifesting new jobs, new careers, new business, so on and so forth. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of self-sufficiency. So you have everything that you need. You're being told to bring m greater material success into your life. You know, there's an energy here with the Three of Pentacles of what you prioritize, what you focus on, the tasks that you do this month, how you place your energy and time is what is going to deliver that cosmic boost in terms of money, career, finances. Uh, there is an opportunity to bring greater value and it feels like material value into your life. You know, these are really abundant energies. Now, here's the thing, Pisces, because 
The moon can be a card of deception. It's when we don't see the big picture, when we don't have clarity. So there's definitely this energy of focus, use your practical skills, abilities wisely, because there's greater material reward coming your way. I mean, that could be in the form of um, For some of you, it might well be to do with manifesting new jobs, uh, you know, advancing a business idea, um, a team collaboration. I mean, call it what you will. But this is somebody who, with the moon energy, this is about trust. This is a card of hidden blessings. Uh, it's a card of, even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. So get busy and focus and prioritize and do the tasks that you need to do because there's definitely greater material abundance coming your way and that is the cards here. What you focus on, what you prioritize is, is going to bring success here and that is absolutely the energy here. Now, for some of you, there could be a meeting. Um... You know, if I'm getting a meeting for some of you, it's not just, you know, it feels in this energy, there will be some kind of conversation, communication coming your way um, that brings progress, that brings advancement, a swift change as well with the Eight of Wands. Uh, so it definitely feels in this energy, Pisces. I mean, this could be to do with sometimes I see online interviews or face-to-face -face interviews. You know, it's what you take action towards is going to bring progress here. Uh, it can be to do with conversations, news, information, uh, you know, opportunity, you know, coming thick and fast out of the blue, opportunity for progress. And there's definitely this positive shift open to you. So maybe some kind of conversation uh, meeting I'm getting for some of you that may well bring a real shift. I'm kind of getting for some of you whatever this there are two paths ahead it feels in the I mean that will probably make sense to you because it definitely feels like there's there's multiple opportunity there's um swift progress you know there are connections to be made there are conversations to be had you know it definitely that can bring real change so there's definitely an energy of, of get focus prioritize do what you need to do find your center and again maybe some kind of message like i said that brings peace and harmony to your door because the action to take with the five of cups is all is not lost here I know we sometimes talk about this card as, you know, loss. It could be lost jobs. Um, you know, something that's getting you down, maybe in terms of money, career. Focusing on something that's gone. There are three cups that are spilt and there's no putting those spilt, that spilt liquid back in those cups. It's gone. But there's definitely an energy to see that as water under the bridge with the water going through now and find your flow again. Because it definitely feels these two cups here, and that could be the two paths ahead. I mean, there could even be two opportunities here, Pisces, um, but it definitely feels that there's real potential around you. There's reasons to be hopeful here. It, so focus on, but if, the more you focus on the negative, you miss the potential that's around you. So the message from Spirit is to do the practical things that you need to do. And you may surprise yourself on how you bring, and I'm definitely feeling this boost in your money, career, financial areas. Yeah, this is surrender, trust in the bigger plan that you're being watched over, and do what you do best. You know, let your intuition be your guide and tell you how to focus your practical skills, knowledge, experience. There's a definite energy of look at something in a different way. Because this person is looking in the wrong direction. Uh, and it can self-sabotage. This can be a card of sabotage as well, self-deception. Um, so Pisces, that's what I feel for you. It feels very promising. There's a lot of promise around you. 
a real shift is available to you as well. I love the Eight of Wands energy um, and progress, fast progress. This Three of Pentacles is all about prioritizing, doing the practical things that you need to do to bring greater material success your way. It could well be that there is some kind of meeting here as well. Um, but it might well be that there are two paths, two opportunities, you know, um, for some of you. You know, I'm seeing those two cups there as well, things that are full, uplifted. And it is time to find your flow once more because all is not lost in this situation. So don't focus on that which is negative because there's real hope around you. Okay, so I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Pisces, thank you. Final message for Pisces. Yeah, see? Spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you. Number 13. You might, it's interesting with that 13, you might feel a bit, you know, you might have felt like, you know, you were unlucky. But there's definitely an energy of you have everything that you need, the resources, the practical capabilities. If you focus on the right thing and prioritize this month to bring greater material wealth your way, you know, and there are connections, conversations to be had here, Pisces. Um, so definite energy of, of take action in the right direction. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.